What's up everybody? My name is Seth, aka Nubicle, and today we're learning how to mod Skater XL in 2020. All right, you're here. You're stoked. You bought Skater XL and you're ready to try it out. But you've been hearing about uh these mod things. Things the community do to uh, you know, improve on the game give you added features that aren't in the base install of the game well i'm just like you i wanted them too and i i figured out how to do it and we're going to figure it out now so what we're going to want to do first is go to your library page right click skater xl and go to properties once you're there navigate over to the right hand side to the betas tab under this first box here, select the beta you would like to opt into. Should say none. Click on that drop down. Come down to beta, public beta builds. All right, it's finished. And now, as you can see, Skater XL with beta next to it. That's what you want. You want it to say beta. So from there, we're going to want to get a Unity Mod Manager. So to get that, there'll be this link in the description below. Just paste that into your browser like so and hit enter and you'll be at this site you want to make sure it's version 0 0.226 so yeah here we've got our mod manager I'm actually gonna back out to the zip folder I'm going to let's see 7-zip extract files it's set for my downloads folder but I'm actually gonna to go to documents to my skater XL folder and I'm gonna unzip it in there just to, this is the only game I'm using unity on so put it in there and click OK now 7-zip will unzip that folder from there there it is so what you're gonna want to do is open this up and uh, see I don't think we need the downloader what we need is unitymodmanager.exe. All right, that's the main application. You don't want these net 35 and net 45s. And if you're having trouble seeing uh, the .exes and the file types, you can come up here to view. And over here on the right, show and hide. Make sure you have file name extensions ticked and hidden items ticked. All right, so let's launch Unity Mod Manager. Just to be safe, I would recommend that you right click and run as administrator. Here we got 0.22.6. That's what we need. Game. It already knows Skater XL. And it's already got the folder, Skater XL. If not, you just click on this button here to the folder and navigate to your game. Mine is in uh, Program Files x86, Steam. Steam apps, common, Skater XL. Once you've done that and you've got all this routed, what you're going to want to do is click this install button right here. All right, and you're patched. But we don't have any mods in here. We want those juicy mods. So let's go get them. So, how we're going to get mods is we're going to go to the Skater XL Discord. <clears throat> I'll put the link in the description below. You just join. And once you're into the Discord, all right, you want to go over here to the left is where the channels are. We're going to scroll down to top mods. We're going to want to get Babo settings. This lets you change uh, graphic settings in the game, the camera, all kinds of stuff. Um, but I wouldn't recommend getting this one. I recommend you go over here to the mods channel, the one right under top mods and get this one uh, that Babo Ewu posted on June 17th. This GitHub, it's got the presets in there for the fisheye camera, which is something a lot of people want is to be able to film with that fisheye lens. So we're gonna click this button right here and download this. All right, so we got Babo, so we scroll on down here on the top mods channel. We wanna get sound mod. Just click on the GitHub. And we're going to click on soundmod.zip here at the top. All right, there's that. 
going to want to get Dog Vinci's Map Fix 1.0. So just click on this. Let's go on back to Discord. We're just going to keep on downloading. Um, board Utilities is a cool one that you can get. It adjusts the size of your deck, the, the wheels, the setup of your trucks, whether they're loose or tight. Um, so just more customization. They have multiplayer um, servers where you can go in there and just skate around with people. Um, it's just free skate, but uh, people do organize games of like of skate in there through the chat. Okay, let's get that. I think we just click on the zip right here. Yep, it's in there. Let's keep on scrolling down. XXL mod. This is gonna let you do all kinds of cool features like. Um, like manual catch right now in the vanilla version of your game if you do a flip trick the board just auto catches and you don't have to do anything um, with the realistic catch on here you have to click in the sticks to catch to catch your flip tricks so it makes it adds a level of challenge and uh, realism I'm gonna download that now and it's there we're going to keep on trucking here. Um, the trick tracker, if you're like me and you get really confused with all the different names and, uh, you know, like the 570 switch ghetto bird or whatever the fuck they, they're called in these tricks now, right? Um, grab the trick tracker. It's very useful. Um, let's see. We'll download that now. Here's escape mod. This is just so right now in, in your vanilla version of the game, if you accidentally hit the escape key, it closes the whole game. Um, no questions asked, just closes it. Kills the process. So this mod, uh, XL Escape mod, it, it just basically pops up a dialogue box and it says, are you sure you want to quit the game? So that it prevents losing any like clips you were working on, anything like that. So if you want that, grab that. Um, I never really have messed with this, and I've seen... Um, that that mod in particular can cause conflicts with the other mods sometimes. So I've just never messed with it. But if you if you think that you're going to hit the key, whatever, definitely get it. Um, I'm just going to skip it. The next one, XXL Map Extension 1.0. This one, um, it says down here, the maps that it uh, works on. <clears throat> it's just so... Um, Basically, you can go in and, and extend the map and add things to maps. Um, I usually get this one. I think it helps with the functionality of some maps as well. So it's a good one to have. Boardware. So this lets your board wear out. Um, and you can kind of set the slider to how worn you want your board to look. Uh, so now that we've got Mod Manager open. And just to note, I did have to close Mod Manager for some reason just now and re reopen it. Um, for it to take these these mods um, so you might have to do that but we're just going to click the top one here hold shift select all and drag them all over in there all right now they all say status okay they're installed should be good now we can close mod manager out now let's see if it's working let's go back to steam and let's launch skater xl All right. Well, the game started, so that's a good sign. All right. And you're going to see this menu pop up. This is the mod manager. You open this by hitting control plus the F10 key if you ever need to get back to it. And um, let's see. Yep, everything is okay and online. So we're going to save this, close it. To open Babos, you're going to hit Backspace, and you could enable the post-processing. They've got these presets here. Say you want to use the fisheye, you just enable the fisheye, which I don't really recommend playing with the fisheye on, but it's good for when you're like editing a clip. Open XXL mod, you're going to hit F7. Welcome, XL stats. See, this is where the gravity is too. It's too crazy for me. So I usually turn mine up to about 13-ish. 
Um, for Trick Tracker, to turn that on. You want to hit the V key. And I've just been putting it over in the middle of my screen. Because... Otherwise, it just like sits down here in the middle, and that's weird. I want to be able to see it, so make it a little bigger. There we go. All right, and the multiplayer mod, you hit P, the P key to open this up. Um, you can either direct connect if you know the IP address and the port number for the uh, server you're trying to join. If it's like a friend server, and you set your username there and click connect. Otherwise, you can click the open server browser. Up here in the right, you can set the username you're going to join the server with. And, man, I haven't looked at this in a while. This looks much better now. Um, and then, you know, here's people hosting servers. If you want to join, you just click one. You got to make sure you have the... Uh, make sure you have the map installed. But there you are. Um, you just hit T to type in the chat. Um, M brings this up where you can vote on which maps. If you want the server host to change the map. If you hit the tab key, it'll hide the chat box. And uh, to leave, you just hit the P key again and disconnect. It's that simple. Um, the board where, you're going to hit the K key to open that one up. And uh, here you see the bar up here at the top. You can turn that off. You can, uh, you know, increase the grip wear. You can hit X to fix the board. Um, the other one, the board utilities, you hit F6 key to open that up. Here you can change uh, everything from the width, the length of your board, the trucks, the wheel size, whether you have soft or hard wheels, and then of course here at the bottom, just reset. If you mess it up too bad, just reset it. Does your skater look like this? Like he's about to rob somebody? Then you need to get some custom gear. So you want some gear. First things first, we're going to want to go into our documents folder to the skater XL and make a folder called gear in here. All right. Once you've got that, you want to go to the discord, the skater XL discord, scroll down and we're looking for the textures channel. Okay. In here, they've got decks. Ooh, I like Gengar. I'm gonna open the zip. Now see this naming schema? Every piece of gear that you get has a naming schema. I will post a link in the description to a picture that has it all broken down that someone graciously from the Discord made to make it easy. So this one is deck underscore. I'm going to take these three files and copy them. And then you guessed it. I'm going to go to my gear folder. And I'm going to paste them in here. As you can see, I've already got all kinds of gear in here. But as you can see, you know, M shoes underscore. That's, that's the tag for the shoes. M shirt underscore. That's the tag for the shirts M pants, so on and so forth. So you added some gear into your folder, right? You launch skater XL. How do you get it on your skater? You're going to go to the, hit the start button, go to edit skater and keep hitting that bumper until you get over to custom. So custom headwear. Let's see. I'm just going to pick this Majora's Mask, Mask Hat so I can show you how to remove it later because it's uh, it's a texture from an earlier version. It doesn't even work now. So um, I'm going to set my guy back up with my dexterity. Shout out dexterity. Hoodie. The bottoms. Oh, I like the dirty denim. Let's do that. As far as the shoes... I was wearing some, wearing the acid trips. So we got our guy looking good, but we decide, eh, this hat ain't for me. How we, we want to take it off, right? 
let's just see his beautiful egg shaped dome so what we're gonna do is just alt tab out of the game like so let me get my desktop display up once you've alt tabbed out of the game you want to go to your folder go to this your gear folder there it is all right so you find the hat that you currently have on you don't have to delete it you can just move it out of this folder somewhere else um but i'm it's a broken texture anyway so i'm just going to delete it goodbye majora so now that i've done that i'm just going to go back into the game go back to the the edit great skater screen sorry and then back out and boom we got no hat on so you got your skater all customized right you got him all customized you've got his hat removed now you're saying I'm sick of these same three maps how do I get a map list that looks like nubicles here where <laughs> the end of it is never right all right, so let's see how we install some maps. We're going to the trusty Discord. Skater XL Discord. And the channels over here, they've got V3 maps. Shout out to Hopborg from Dexterity, my team. Just released the Forgotten Plaza. Get that map. It's a good one. All right, once we downloaded that, go to our downloads folder. Here's this file. I'm going to open up another window here. Oh, I opened up the exact right one. Um, so we're going to want to go to our documents folder, right? Go to the Skater XL, the same folder where we made the gear folder. And if there's not a folder there called maps already, go ahead and just create a folder and call it maps. I've already done this. As you can see, this is where all those maps live. Um, I've already got the forgotten plaza, but if you didn't, you would just pull the old drag and drop. Oop, not all of them, just one. The drag and drop into that folder. And then restart Skater XL, open it up. All right, we fired Skater XL back up. Let's go over to our maps. And then you just hit right, right bumper to custom maps. And they're all here. Waiting on the map to load. There we go, man. Now we've got a hatless skater in a forgotten plaza. And he's customized. He's looking good. He's skating. Yikes, he's hung up on the chain. Go enjoy Skater XL. All right, just get. Get out of here. Go enjoy it. All right, guys, that's going to do it. That's how you mod Skater XL in 2020. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and sub slap that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. And uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Tell me if this was helpful to you. If you got any more questions, I'll be keeping up with that and answering those as fast as I can. Um, and let me know, what's your favorite map or favorite piece of gear that uh, you've installed with the mods on Skater XL? All right. I'll see you on the next one. This is Noob. Peace out.